In the final section, we need to create and edit a presentation. We will use Microsoft PowerPoint for this. When we open PowerPoint, click Cancel because we're going to design our own theme. Our presentation should have three slides, so we can add two new slides. Then, to design the master slide, click Themes, Edit Master, Slide Master. The slide master should have a very light blue background. So right click on the slide, click Format Background, and choose a very light blue colour. Our centre number, candidate number and name should be in a small black font in the top right hand corner. To do this, click Home and insert a text box. Into the text box, we'll type our name, candidate number and centre number. Let's right align it and move it slightly. Then we can move the title and resize this box to a suitable size so that nothing overlaps. Now we need a clip art image of a peripheral device as a logo in the bottom right corner. So click Insert, Clip Art, Clip Art Gallery. Now peripheral means something that's connected to a computer but is not part of the computer, something like a printer. So let's search for a printer. Here's a barcode printer, that's a good peripheral device. So let's insert that, move it to the bottom right hand corner and make it nice and small so that nothing's going to overlap it. Finally we need the slide number in the bottom left of the footer. Now let's delete the original footer because they never work. Insert a text box and inside the text box click the insert menu slide number. Now the styles of text need setting. A heading refers both to the heading of the normal content slides, so we'll set this to black center aligned, it already is, and a large font 48 points. And heading also refers to the, the main title style on the title slide, so we also need to set this to 48 point, and it is already, so that's fine. Going back to the second slide. The bulleted list, the first level at least of the bulleted list, needs setting to be red, left aligned, small font, 24 point, and the bullet of our choice. Well, let's leave it with the bullets we have already. And also on the title slide, subheading needs changing to a dark red, or maroon colour. needs to be left aligned and a medium font size 32 points. Now we've finished editing the slide master so close master and we can go to our first slide and start entering the content. So that's the heading, here's the subheading And presenter notes go in this box at the bottom. On the second slide, first we enter the heading and then we want a bulleted list on the left hand side of the slide. Following that comes some more text, but this text is not part of the bulleted list, so press delete to remove the bullet and undo the auto auto capitalize because it shouldn't be a capital A. To undo you can press command Z.
and this should be a subheading so in a minute we'll change the font style to the required one for a subheading first let's add, let's add the bulleted list that needs to go below it we can click on the bulleted list button to start to restart the bulleted list Pound sign is above 3 if you're using an American keyboard. Remember you can press Command Shift 3. Now let's go back to the For All Budgets line. Select that. Now there's no easy way to make this automatically the subheading style, so we'll go back to the definition of subheading and manually let's set this to be dark red, left aligned, and medium font size. Now we need to insert an image, so click insert photo picture from file. And in the in the folder where we've downloaded files from the website we can find n7print.jpg. Insert and the picture just needs moving over to the far right hand side and resizing to make sure it doesn't overlap anything. Now we want to add a red vertical line between the list and the image. So click Home, Shape, and click a, choose a simple line. Draw the line between the list and the picture. And to change the style, the colour and the width of the line, right click on the line, format shape, click on the line, colour of the line should be red, and the weight of the line should be 5.5 pt. Move it across slightly. If you want to move something of a small amount, you can hold down command as you drag it across. Now both bulleted lists should appear one at a time. So if you click inside this box without selecting it, click on animations and let's choose an animation and let's have the fly in animation. So now the bulleted lists are flying in one at a time. However, this subheading, this and for all budgets, should not be animated. So if you click on the number next to it, the four, and press delete, it will remove the animation from that line. So we can just play the animations again to check that it works correctly. Now we add the presenter notes and go on to the third slide. On the third slide, we need to enter the heading. And a bulleted list on the right side of the slide. This, this list is easier to enter with the caps lock pressed down. we can turn off caps lock. Now we're going to want to use a suitable software package that will be Excel to produce a chart. But we can do that from within PowerPoint by clicking on charts and the kind of chart we want is a bar chart or a column chart as it's known in Microsoft Office. And the simplest kind is the clustered column 2D. So click this. And then PowerPoint automatically takes us to Excel where we need to enter the data that's going to be shown in the chart. Now the data we're looking for is in this file n7sales.csv. So we can use Excel to also open this file. So file open n7sales.csv. 
make sure enable all files is selected so that you're we are actually able to open a CSV file now some of the data in here will need to be copied into the first Excel spreadsheet to be shown in the bar chart the data we want firstly we need to add together the total sales for both makes where the type is CDR so if I insert another line here I can create another entry for the total CDR sales and a formula to add together the sales from each company. Now the data I want to show on the graph is the type of media and the sales for each type. But I don't want these first two lines with the two different brands of CDR. So I can select these four cells Hold down Command and select these four cells. Command C copies. Then I can go back to the first worksheet and starting where it says Category 1, starting where the data should be shown, press Command V to paste. Then hovering the mouse over the bottom right hand side of the data, I can click and drag across to resize the data region. Finally, give this two columns names. The first column is type, and the second column is total sales. Now that's the data that needs to be shown on the bar chart. So if I close this Excel worksheet and go back to PowerPoint, here is the data on a nice bar chart. So I can move the bar chart, resize the bar chart, We don't want a legend, so I can select the legend and press delete. Finally, the axes need labeling. So if I click on chart layout, axis titles, the horizontal axis is type, and the vertical axis is total sales. Finally, I can resize to make the most of the space available. The presenter notes need to be added. Now, for the whole presentation, we need to use the same transitional effect. So, click on transitions and Let's use the random bars transition. Then click on apply to all slides. The presentation needs saving using a new file name. So file, save as. And let's save it in the same folder where all of the other files in this exam paper are stored. Now to print the presentation showing presenter notes, go to File, Print, Print What, Print Notes, and we can see in the preview here that the presenter notes are shown below the slide, and then click Print. Next we need to print the presentation showing audience notes with three slides, three slides to the page and space for the audience to make notes. So again, file, print. This time we're printing notes for the audience. That's handouts. Three, sli three slides per page. And here we can see the notes or the slides are on the left hand side and the space for the audience to make their own notes on the right hand side. And again click print. 
Now a screenshot showing the animation used for the bulleted lists. We click on slide two, click on animations. Now the animated points are numbered, so we can take a screenshot by pressing Shift, Control, Command, Four, and selecting the slide. And then we can open a Word document and paste. And of course we can make sure our name, centre number and candidate number are in the header of this document so that anything we print is going to have the required information in it. And a screenshot of the presentation showing the transitions. Well, the transitions are shown in the, the slide sorter on the left hand side. That's what this little icon here means next to each slide. So again, press Shift, Control, Command, 4. And let's select this area. Let's paste that also in the Word document. And then when we print this page, that will have all of the required evidence. So that's it for this exam. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.